there, I'm here to show you how to use the student annotation tool for whenever you have the mark it ups in the reading module. So uh, your instructor will give you a text to read. It just will be right there um, in Canvas. And your toolbar is right here. And I'm just going to demonstrate how to use each tool. So if you wanted to highlight something, you press the highlighter you choose a color, say you want pink, and you can literally highlight something. If you like it, you can leave it. If you don't like it, you can throw it away. You can change your color if you want. You can write a note to yourself about some kind of question, like perhaps you thought Tiny Giant was an interesting and odd title. You might put a question mark for yourself. Say, why? Why that title? Maybe you wonder that. Um, if you, this big T here, again, you can pick any color you want, is for making a text box. So it'll open up a text box there and you can um, say something. I noticed that's a Olympic icon. So I'm gonna write that Olympic icon. Um, and you can also move it around if you want. Uh, again, you can also erase it, delete it if you wish. The S with a cross out is, um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. The S with the cross out is a way that you can um, literally cross out text. Um, it's not that advisable when you're trying to make sense of the text but it is a handy tool when you're editing a, a paper um, a peer a peer paper but for these assignments i don't suspect that you'll use this tool very often so i'm just going to delete this one the next icon is like a little paintbrush and there's different levels of thicknesses and you can choose a color and um, you can underline something or circle it. If you like it, you press the little check mark and then you can put a note to yourself, you know, remember this. Um, or you can put your uh, personal communication down or your knowledge that you have about Simone Biles, say that's what this is about. Um, this right here is if you wanted to um, demark a certain area. So for that, if I wanted to highlight this figure, I may show it like that. I may mark it up that way and then leave a note to myself. So how do we use these tools in the mark it up? Well, you're showing your instructor basically what you're thinking when you're reading. So if you're making personal co connections, if you're remembering um, something about uh, some background knowledge on something, or if you're just highlighting questions or concerns you have or um, things that you don't understand, words maybe that you don't understand and need to look up, using these tools is really handy. That way your instructor can see what it is that you're thinking while you're reading. Much the same way you noticed the instructor do the preview in the preview the reading video. Okay, um, that's how to use the student annotation tool. When you're done doing the highlights that you've done for the entire reading, you'll press submit and then it will, your teacher will be able to read it and grade it um, for you. Okay, thank you.